The Gen 3 Glock 19 is probably one of the most iconic handguns of all time. It seems to be the one that really just made its mark in the history of handguns, and of course also the number one repeated handgun seemingly across all manufacturers. But is it really worth the hype? And more importantly, are some of these actual Gen 3 variants worth the money. Today on We The People Holsters, we're gonna be finding out exactly that. Today we're taking a look at the Anderson Kiger 9C Pro. I'm super excited about this. We had a chance to get behind the gun. We'll talk about that a little bit here and uh, and go through kind of the pros, the cons, et cetera, et cetera. But before we do that, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you haven't already, of course, keeps you up to date with all of the awesome We The People Holsters content we got coming for you guys. And uh, we'll go from there. Also, if you guys are looking for a holster of some sort, you can pick one up, wethepeopleholsters.com. We've got more than holsters. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, hats, leggings for the ladies or the dudes. Not going to judge you. You do you. Let's get into the video. The Anderson Kiger 9C Pro. So if you guys haven't kept up with Anderson at all, this one is the second rendition of Anderson's very first handgun, the Kiger 9C. We got a chance to get our hands on a Kiger 9C a couple of weeks ago. Really enjoyed that gun. Really, really awesome for the price point. The Kiger, the original Kiger 9C comes in at sub $500 for the gun. Super, super awesome. Shot really, really well. So I was extra excited to see that they kind of took some feedback on it made their 9c pro and their 9c pro s we'll talk about what the difference is in just a second but was excited to get my hands on it thanks to anderson for sending this one over to us letting us uh put some rounds through we got about 100 rounds through this gun or so already and of course to do so i want to thank freedom munitions for hooking us up with some of their pro match 124 grain nine millimeter ammunition shoots awesome absolutely loved it had no issues whatsoever in the 100 or so rounds we put through this gun literally an hour and a half ago so let's talk about the gun. So first things first, you're going to see on the Kiger 9C Pro here is the slide is quite a bit more aggressively cut. So it's got these three big slide cuts right here on the side. Of course, it's got this ported window up on the top and then overall just a little bit more aggressive slide on this gun. Same frame, so really aggressive undercut here, right? Nice aggressive texture on the handle really makes it easy to get a good grip on this gun. Uh, and then of course, the Kiger 9C Pro is gonna come with the extended um, control. So extended mag release, extended slide release, things like that. Rail on the underside here, of course, just like the, the original Kiger 9C. Really awesome, gun shoots super well. On the top side, you're gonna see suppressor height sights. Of course, that is because, well, this one doesn't come with a threaded barrel. The Kiger 9C Pro S, S standing for suppressor ready is going to come with a threaded barrel so that way you guys can thread on any sort of NFA item that you may or may not have for your pistol. So really high sights. I actually like these a little bit more. I, um, I found it a little bit easier to acquire sight picture with the higher sights compared to the ones that are a little bit lower. Um, but again, personal preference there. Also comes milled on the top. You'll see there's an optic plate here, milled for an RMR style optic. So pretty self-explanatory there. That was one of my biggest feedbacks. If you guys remember the original Tiger 9C review was that it wasn't milled for an optic. Optic. It's like Anderson heard my prayers and of course they milled it for one. So it'll take a standard RMR style optic, really awesome gun there. And then of course, probably the coolest thing about this entire gun is this barrel. So if you look at this barrel, it's fluted and this one's got some wear on it again because we quite literally just took it out in the woods, put a hundred rounds through it and beat the piss out of it. But it's got these straight flutes here, of course, 416 stainless barrel, of course, DLC coating, diamond like coating on all of this stuff, just as it would come from Anderson. So really, really awesome awesome gun. Again, got the chance to get behind it. It shoots really well. Personally, I thought that it did uh, have a little less recoil, a little less muzzle rise than the original 9C did. Of course, the uh, the 
supporting in the slide helps reduce some of that weight and some of that momentum. But overall, just a really awesome little gun to shoot. Handles well, feels good in the hand. Of course, again, this frame is probably one of my favorite frames. I don't know if you guys can see it behind me, but I have another uh, build with that same style Gen 3 Glock 19 frame there. So just a really awesome little gun in general. Again, the original Anderson Kiger 9C was good and it did well. And the 9C Pro is kind of what takes that from good to great. So uh, trigger feel in this one, pretty good. Shoots relatively well, it's your standard. Uh, Gen 3 Glock 19 trigger, right? It's got some creep, a little bit heavy in um, in some areas. However, the nice thing about this gun is just like every other Gen 3 Glock style handgun, it runs off that same three pin system. So the Apex trigger systems will fit it. Or if you wanted to do uh, something a little bit more extensive drop-in wise, you can do that. It'll take all of that. So really good gun for the money. Um, and that probably brings up a good point there too. Retail on this guy is going to be I believe sub 550 bucks uh, and the suppressor ready one as well is I think $10 more. So with both of those being under $550, you really cannot beat it. You just can't find another gun out of the box that's gonna shoot as well as this one is for the money. So that's enough out of me. What do you guys think? Would you own an Anderson Kiger 9C Pro? Yes, no, maybe so. Drop a comment down below. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you can keep up with all the awesome We The People holsters content we got coming for you. With that, I'm Dustin. We'll see you guys on the next one. Stay free, friends.